done by Texas A&M. Thanks for tuning in to Jiggy Jaguar 24-7. Brought to you by Jordan's Juice Barbecue Sauce. Juice it up with Jordan's online at jordansjuice.com. Welcome back to our big broadcast, Coast to Coast. And Bone and the Bone are on TuneIn, iTunes, Radio Loyalty, and Stitcher. We are going to be connecting with Ryan Driller here in a few moments. We're going to get a hold of him on the old skype rooney People hate it when I say skype rooney on this show. I don't know why, but they do. We're going to see if we can pull up Ryan Driller. Also find him on Twitter at Ryan Driller. Ryan, how are you, sir? It's Jiggy. How are you? Good. Good. How are you doing? Pretty good, actually. I, uh, I I apologize for calling you a little late. I had a previous guest who I just couldn't get to shut the hell up. So no <laughs> I, I, am, I am now got you on the phone. Uh, we've got Ryan Driller with us today. You can find him on Twitter at Ryan Driller. And uh, he joins us live here on the broadcast from the adult video world. Um, uh, Ryan... First of all, give us a little bit on your background, my friend, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll talk about your career and everything. Um, I mean, what do you want to know about background? Well, how, how, how did you get started in the business? All, all, all that fun stuff. Kind of catch us up. Uh, oh, right, right. Well, I mean, I've always wanted to, so I started doing the research, and I sought out through Craigslist and made every connection that I could, and that was how I managed wow. to break in about eight years ago now. Now, uh, what, what's, what, what's been some of the more interesting moments that you've had in the, uh, in, in the industry so far? <laughs> well, I mean, I have played Superman several times, so that's always a bit interesting when you have to don that spandex and the, and the cape and everything. <laughs> and so, that's always been uh, probably right up there. We've got... Cool. Uh, Ryan Driller with us today. He joins us live here on the broadcast, and uh, we want to thank everybody for joining us today. Now, uh, you can also connect with Ryan if you want to get a hold of him on Twitter. You can do so at Ryan Driller. And um, you, you you got started in the business through through basically doing doing a lot of the different research. And um, what what was what was the research that that you you wanted to get done before you made the leap into uh, the business? So, I mean, I wanted to kind of track and see how everybody was in it, like how they worked, how the, the safety measures were, um, how you made the connections, where bookings came from, where production took place, you know, how it was like controlled, monitored, and, and taken care of so that it wasn't just jumping into, you know, any sort of buffoonery and, and potential trouble. Yeah. So, um I mean, I was, I was definitely kind of trying to check that out and then kind of see what sort of repercussions I could probably look forward to. You know, I mean, I come from the real world before that where you didn't really even talk about watching adult entertainment or or, or anything. So to, to actually work in it, I figured probably wasn't anything. You know, didn't necessarily see a lot of good happening from it. Yeah. No, um, uh, it, it, it's had the potential for there being some trouble in the long run, but it wasn't anything I couldn't justify and uh, I knew what I was going to get myself into so it went went well and uh, and I found out you know all the safety measures were in place as as well as they could be which tended to be a lot greater and a lot better than anything I was doing in my personal life at the time so uh, it was an opportunity I had to seize now uh, winning you've you've won some awards uh, fairly recently (laughs) uh, an an ex-biz a male performer of the year for uh, 2016. Um, when 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 you get the, uh, the 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 nominations here, uh, with 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 you know all these different awards that you're involved with, uh, how how do you, you know, had, had where where are you exactly when you get those nominations, and who gives you the uh, the information, or do, or do you find out about it like on social media? Um, you know, it kind of, I, I find out about it from all over the place. This year, uh, since I had undertook the rub PR and Erica Icon over there, she, you know, right on top of everything, so I didn't have to, by chance, catch it on, on social media. But, 
but Erica was the one who had tipped me off and, and said, hey, congratulations, you've got your nominations. Here they are. Here's the list. These are the ones that we found. You know, by all means, go through the list and see if there's anything else that we overlooked because if you ever look at the nomination list when it comes out, you know, there's <laughs> 15, 20 nominations or more for each category. So sometimes you kind of get um, – you, you oversight a particular name in there, especially when it's on three different um, – three different lines. So we went through. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, since it is actually done by the, the different publications and the different different venues there, when the nominations come out, they do release them to all the PR agents and, and to the, uh, to the publications and put it out on social media. And unfortunately, um, <laughs> our own narcissism, anything we can see that might have our name in it, you know, we've got the little alerts or, or sounds that we'll keep an, an eye out for it. So when a nomination list comes out, everybody in the industry retweets and posts and blasts it. So you can't miss it in your, uh, in your timeline there. So I'll definitely see it there. And then, uh, and then even that, the fans that are really on top of it. I know, um, Colleen's dragon or at Colleen's dragon. Uh, she, she definitely always, she's like, Hey, congrats on your ex's now perform of the year nomination and congrats on your best scene parody for Superman versus Batman or, you know, the like. So, a lot of times even the fans will let you know too so if you miss it even it definitely comes to you real quick well but, that that is that yeah. is one thing that, that i like about the adult film industry is that uh you guys keep up with each other on social media there's there's all sorts of different things that go on with social media um is is that your best communication tool that you guys have yes i mean we're all very open and honest and, and friendly on there, and we're all happy to communicate with everybody as long as there's something to communicate. You know, I don't want to say, like, like I can't get to everybody's tweets that come to me. Um, yeah. As much as I would love to, I would get nothing else done the rest of the day. <laughs> so if it seems like, I mean, chances are, if it's a question that you posted that could easily be answered, remedied, or, or seen just by watching my or watching any of our sort of feeds, we're probably going to ignore you just for that reason. Like, I mean, I know I have three people that ask me on a daily basis, anything new coming out, anything new coming out. And it's like, yeah. uh, dude, you asked me that question three minutes after I posted, check out my new scene at Naughty America. Or, <laughs> hey, <laughs> on set shooting for Wicked today. Like, you know, <laughs> so someone was kind of like, here's the obvious, sorry. Or, you know, if someone just kind of starts, they're like, hi, how are you doing? It's like, I really want to say I'm doing great, thank you, but I also don't have the time to engage in a full conversation with you. Like, no offense. Yeah. You know, I'm running around everywhere, but it's not that I'm trying to ignore you. It's just that I can't be engaged with it. Like, I might have 10 seconds in between um, walking my dog and running to the, to the grocery store or yeah. while I'm pulling on the set. Like, you know, so, so it is only kind of that reason, but... You know, if you have something that's a little bit more relevant or, or friendly or a little bit more engaging and it can be a one-off question kind of thing, like, we're always more than happy to answer there, and, and we love doing it. That's why we have it, and we want to share with you guys just as much as we want to We want to engage with you. We just you have to be time-sensitive to everything with it as well. Yeah. Now, how, yeah. how does how does it feel when you when you win some of these awards and, and being uh, respected by your peers and, and people you work with in the uh, in the business? How how do, how do the awards feel? <laughs> yeah, I wish there was a better way to word it than almost because I hate it when I hear mainstream actors use this wording, but it's the most accurate statement I can make, and it's. It is incredibly humbling and it's incredibly honoring to to get it. I mean, to to have that recognition from my peers, from the industry, which as a result is as like from the fans because they're watching, they're buying, they're like you know, I wouldn't be nominated if my stuff wasn't popular enough amongst the people that are paying to watch everything for there to be any recognition on the industry level to go, Wow, okay, so Magic Mike sold record level sales or so much to Cornell blew everything out of the water. Like if it wasn't for that, experts and AVM wouldn't be aware of of who I am and, and what's going on. Yeah. So for them to even analyze it and go, 
yeah, he's going to be our male performer of the year this year. It's it's in, it's it's incredible. It's amazing. It's I mean I was, I'm still at a loss for words on it because I mean it's so like to know the list of guys that were up there, Manuel Ferrara and um you know there were some Ramon, hitters, yeah. And, and were up yeah, I mean like I was sitting there with Axel Braun and with Derek Pierce as they were making the announcement and running through the nominations and you know, it was like it's incredibly honoring just to be nominated with the list of, of all the guys that were up there. And then when they were showing the names of those that were nominated on the on the screen and announcing them before announcing the the winner, um, you know, I was sitting there with X One and Derek Pierce and we were talking, we're like, It's always a really great list, like we wonder who it's gonna be, like whoever it is you know, and kind of making justice like they better have the same line that Danny Daniels just gave and make it their award speech and um like, okay, well, let's see which one of these guys is going to be, because whatever it is, it's, you know, it's, 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 like, it's great. It's, it's good to know, like, who's the caliber up there. And when they said my name, you know, I know both of them looked right over at me. My jaw hit the floor, just total stunned awkwardness. And I kept looking back and forth, and I know I yelled up to, to Jessica and Alva and said, no, no, read the card again. I want to see it. You know, make sure it wasn't like a Steve Harvey moment go. <laughs> we, you know, we're all about having a little fun and some comedy up here. And Steve Harvey just messed up that Miss America thing. So why not, you know, play that game? Can be like, oh, just kidding. It's actually, I was like, hold on. Because, you know, I'm going, I'm just the one random guy in here that's that's doing this. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that it's it's well liked by everybody watching and, and I'm working with. But, you know, I'm not expecting to ever win anything. So, so to have them actually read my name on it, I was like, I'm not the guy that gets this. I'm not the guy who gets nominated. Like, that, that gets this right out. Like, come on, look at the guys sitting around here, like, right up front. So it was, and it is, it is incredibly humbling, and and I'm incredibly grateful for it, and, and going to be that way forever. So <laughs> that's kind of how it is. We're speaking with Ryan Driller today here in our big program, and uh, winning winning the awards and all the accolades it does. How does that affect your career moving forward? Can, can does your does your stock go up a lot to where you you can charge more? Uh, how, how does how does that work? <laughs> you know, I mean, I'd like to think that maybe it creates a little more work for me, just because people want to capitalize on the word that's being spread around, like, hey, this is the guy that won, so let's let's throw him in there because we can kind of put that on a tagline, on a byline that's down there, like, ah, we've got Ryan Jilly starring as Doc in the Bond Gardens or, or whatever. So I can only hope that at least it'll bring the work in. Now, in terms of, like, the value of my stock and everything, I I think I'm, I'm pretty good, so I'm not going to raise my price. I don't want to get that kind of, like, head to me or anything. Like, I know that great I was great this year and I did awesome and I and I got that award but next year it's anybody's game like you know so I don't want to put any sort of like chip on anybody's shoulder or have any sort of um, stipulation that seems to come with it was like oh what he wants so now he's going to charge more because he thinks that he's giving this over the top incredible performance and it's like I mean I want to give that incredible performance but at the same time I don't want to you know create that kind of air around me so um, I mean I made a lot of jokes with a couple of my co-stars right after winning saying that I was going to bring the award and just like put it on set just out of out of camera <laughs> range <laughs> just, like, just so you know and you remember you're working with that performer of the year but um, so that was a joke I was like no come on like you know honestly I took a couple pictures I put it in this box kept it in safekeeping. keeping it's on my bookshelf but, um, but no, I mean, other than that, I'm like, yeah, I have the title, I guess, to go with it, but I'm still just the guy that's here doing this, trying to make sure that everybody enjoys what's going on around me. So yeah. I'm just going to keep it as that. We've got uh, Ryan Driller with us today, and as as we wrap up here uh, with you, my friend, you, you you've got a lot of projects uh, coming up, and oh, yeah. you've done a lot of shooting and everything. Uh, 
we were recently out uh, at the Adult Video News Awards at, at the convention and everything. What what do you think about these conventions where uh, where the fans can pretty much come in and 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 meet and greet uh, their stars? Because uh, much like uh, a, a lot of these businesses are starting to catch on to the conventions. I know that the professional wrestling world for years that. Uh, you know, look down on the conventions, but now they're like, we could make money doing this. <laughs> and, uh, right. and, uh, what, what, what is the adult film world? Because you guys have been doing conventions for as long as I can remember. You know, it's a great thing. I mean, so many people in the industry, well, one big industry and we're spread out everywhere and you've got everybody living everywhere in addition to that. So, yeah. I mean, there's people that I'll go years without ever seeing except for at the convention. Um, so, to put everybody in one room, it's kind of like having a family reunion. So, you get everybody there. It's easy to catch up with everybody. It's also great for doing some of the networking and seeing, you know, who's who, who's what, who's where, and who's got what coming up so that you can you can work with that. So, um, and then, I mean, we all have our pictures taken and yeah. tending who, um, you know, I mean, depending on who's taking the photo, like, I know I can look one way on a shoot where the photographer for Adam and Eve is going to take those pictures and entirely different the next day, um, on set for Naughty America and, uh, an entirely different thing the next day for Wicked. So, you know, sometimes it's, it's hard to gauge, like, what that person really looks like or what that person's really like based off of the picture when they're kind of trying to fill those roles. So, so it is great on a, on a professional standpoint there where you get to meet everybody and see their personality and see who they are and how they, they interact and, and if it's going to fit that bill there. Um, and then from, from the fan standpoint, like I think it's, it's great because it is one of those, it's, it's kind of a twofold, like, yeah, you can make a lot of money there. I mean, I know a lot of the girls do selling pictures and, and DVDs and, and studios kind of capitalizing on, we'll bring in this starlet that everybody is going oh. gaga over for, oh. and, and we can sell their product right here and there. And, uh, and kind of boost some of the recognition there where they're going to also build kind of that, that fan base and, and hold on to them because they gave them that tangible thing there. But, you know, also given the nature of what we do, um, the convention gives you kind of like a safe place to approach your your hero, your idol, or whatever you want to call us yeah. in the industry. But you probably are not going to take up when you run into it at the gym or at the grocery store or at the movie theater. Um, you, know, you don't necessarily want to randomly approach us. Afraid you may offend us or anything there. So it's like, you know, here's a here's a safe place. Come up, say hi. And there's all that anonymity behind everything because you're one of a face in the crowd and you're there for the same reason we're there and we all know what's going on. So, so it's, like a, it's like a good safe haven. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's always been great. And it's, you know, on, on the other end of the spectrum, it's, it's great because we get to give back to the people that are keeping us in business and that are, yeah. that are buying our stuff and that are, that are coming around. It's like, hey, like, you don't have to just be, you know, vicariously through me or, or know me based off of what you see on Twitter or what you watch on, on this DVD or that website. Here's actually come say hi to me in person. Shake my hand, get a picture, you know, any of that kind of stuff. So one of those, yeah, have a conversation. So that's, that's where we, I think we really like the convention. We have a lot of fun with it. And so you have Exoticas popping up all over the country um, every year. So kind of another little, like, nod there where, if you weren't able to make it to Vegas, maybe we're coming somewhere closer to you. Like, I think this year they just added Columbus, Ohio in August. So we're kind of spreading out all over the country and letting everybody come and say hi. Well, that's awesome. That That is that, that is a cool <laughs> deal. Now, uh, Ryan, yeah. uh, people can catch up with you on Twitter at Ryan Driller. And uh, I appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on, for, man. For sure, man. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Definitely. Well, I will be in touch, my friend, and uh, good luck with everything, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Ryan. All right. Appreciate you it, too. brother. Thank you. Ryan Driller with us today on the old Skype-a-rooney. We're going to take a time out and come back with more here on the big program. Mm-hmm.